You welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily. Beautiful conversation, you know, with Mr. Simons. Now, we are going into another, even more wonderful conversation. You know, so for me, eh, David, mm. anything that will make you meet people, you know, get new experiences. I mean, everything that has a bit of fanfare, mm. you know, with it. You like? Me. No, no, ask for me everything. Let's do party, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, let, let, let's show stuff, you know. Yeah. And, and I love the Ghanaian story because mm. I think that we have a beautiful story to tell. For me, the part of it that I like is that it's Ghana focused. Exactly. That, that's, know, it's everything Ghana I for me. I think that we do more than mm. we showcase. Mm. And I don't blame people because sometimes it's difficult finding the right platform yeah, to true, showcase true. what okay. you do. Yeah. And so in August 2022, something amazing is happening. You know, so in March, we had the Back to Your Village Food Bazaar. That was super awesome. After two days, people still felt that we needed more <laughs> days. And I said, no, look, if we, if we give you 365 days, we <laughs> still can't finish eating, showcasing, telling the Ghanaian story. Yeah. But... We paused on that one, and something even bigger is happening in August. We've been joined by the host of Footprints on City TV, and um, we hardly talk about this side of him, you know, when we are introducing him. He's also uh, the co-host on Rivers of Worship. So Sunday mornings, he yeah, preaches. It's he very is. important that yeah. he state that, that he's yeah. a preacher man. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I guess it's Samuel Atamesa. <laughs> Papa, you're welcome to breakfast. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I don't remember the last time I was introduced as a, as a, as a presenter man. of uh, no, Rivers of Worship. Yeah, exactly. actually, actually, that's my foremost um, exactly. um, uh, calling, you know, calling yeah. if, if you like. Yeah. Uh, so presenting gospel music. Yeah. Um, but these days, I'm not able to catch up with, especially the local ones, I must confess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, so, no there, there's something called preaching. I don't do much. I don't do preaching. I, I do, I'm, not, I'm not trained to do preaching, but I do encouraging and admonition. I said no need yeah. preaching. No. no, it's okay. Well, don't worry. There's uh, something called admonition. <laughs> no, we like it. We like it. We like it. <laughs> well, you can call it preaching, but I mean, that's not the, the whole idea. Yeah. It's just... You know, no, but we just love what you do on Sunday mornings. That's what well, I love it too. That's why I haven't stopped. Yeah. Uh, you know, stop. when I started, I started in April of 1995. Whoa, wow. 95? Okay. Okay. April 22nd, April, or thereabouts was my first. Wow. I think I was still uh, washing my school bag, you know, for <laughs> JHS. You know? And it was so the first was it. of its kind at the time. Wow. So, that was in university uh, first year. Oh, no, you did. I, I respect you. <laughs> my, my I was, was at first year. Yeah. Well, I was in we are just oh about God. to go to on a strike. We're just about to start a strike, the nine-month strike. <laughs> Hello, you senior citizen. <laughs> 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 right, so Samens is here, and um, we are talking uh, about something bigger happening in August. Samens, mm. if you do us the honors, and tell us on the 27th and 28th of August what is happening in Ghana. We have um, what people would typically refer to as Made in Ghana mm. um, exhibitions and fairs. Um, it is Made in Ghana, yes, but it's called This is Ghana. The whole idea is to showcase exactly what we are made of as a country. Uh, try and throw uh, onto this platform our strengths, our capabilities, our competences, which will be illustrated in the products, services, mm. and corporate institutions that represent us. So it's an exhibition, it's a fair, it's an expo, trying to showcase what we have across industries, across sectors. And so we are looking at a Greek sector, we are looking at food processing, we are looking at manufacturing, we are looking at the FMCGs, we are looking at... Um, um, real estate, okay. you know, all across, everyone is invited. So long as it's an indig indigenous crafting mm. of the service or process or product, you are invited to be part of this fair, which is on the 27th and 28th of August this year. Okay. So this is Ghana is what it's all about. Wow. You know, usually when you talk about Made in Ghana um, exhibitions, people think of, you know, tie and dye. They think of yeah. beads. They think mm. of artifacts. You know, sometimes, who, who, who kind of carbon Well, rightly that, so, because, yeah. because those are the low-hanging fruits, yeah. you know. And um, 
uh, we haven't been able to structure exhibitions in a format that competes at the global level. So, and again, the real cost of exhibitions cannot be borne by some of these um, small scale yeah. um, um, if you like, exhibitors. So they just do piecemeal approach, come and exhibit your tie and die and all those. But that's a good place to start. Yeah. But what we are doing is that we are scaling it up to showcase what makes Ghana mm. work yeah. as a country. Okay. Mm. This is up outside of our imports. Mm. So what is it? Who are we in our products? Who mm. are we in our services? Mm. What is it that we have that if we package properly, yeah. we can also take out there mm. to represent us? Mm. So this is going to happen. Um, um, that's assembly, manufacturing, yes, manufacturing or assembling, assembly, yeah. automobile accessories, mm -hmm. automobile services, wow. um, you know. There are people who can remake a whole vehicle mm. that's broken down into something else, wow. you know. Yeah. And these are the innovations that we are talking about. Mm. We are also talking about research and innovation. Okay. Because we have research institutions in this country who have done amazing uh, pr uh, projects. But there's no platform to showcase them. Yeah. And yet we buy some of these knowledge-based products mm. From elsewhere, yeah. we pay hard-earned dollar yeah. to people from other countries to come and provide the same consulting and research-based services mm. that we have in Ghana already. Mm. Yeah. You have the CSIR and its, um, its institute, several of them, mm. I think 12, 13 of them. Wow. You, know, <laughs> the, you, you know, we have the Building and Road Research yes, Institute yeah, right. who have, I mean, a wide mm. range of yeah. offerings for road and building uh, services, mm. but we don't use them, mm. and more so because policymakers have not championed the leadership along those lines. Yeah. So in our small corner, we are saying that why don't we build a platform, mm. let them come together, and use our medium to promote them mm. for people to see. Okay. If we are doing this consistently over a period of time, mm. our aim is to now get our dependence on foreign products yeah. reduced, reduced. Okay. so that people will know that it can be done in mm. Ghana. Mm. 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 Now, so, so if, for instance, there's um, a Ghanaian hospital yeah. that wants to be part of this, do they fit in? A Ghanaian hospital provides a service, with a health service, yeah. mm. and it's a product. Mm. Okay. Once it's crafted, made in Ghana, indigenous ownership, why not? Okay. Because People are able to travel from outside of Ghana and go to hospitals outside of Ghana. Yeah. I know people who go to India, people who go to South Africa, mm -hmm. who go to Ukraine, you know, yes. um, for health services. Mm -hmm. Whereas some of these services are in Ghana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's part of it, hospitality services. Yeah. You know, the wide range of services that are crafted, processed mm -hmm. and delivered in Ghana mm -hmm. We invite all of them to be part of this. Okay. So, I mean, sometimes you realize that you attend these kind of exhibitions and you see certain things, you know. Beyond the people who are exhibiting, you also want to be able to come into contact with, like, experts to ask questions, to get proper detailed knowledge. Are we going to provide... Well, uh, some of the exhibitors yeah. come prepared. Yeah. Very prepared, um, you know, because there are, there, there are different skills yeah. and uh, the size of companies also varies. So some of them come prepared. Um, but for this particular um, exhibition and fair, we also have the trade clinics where we'll be offering some of these expert services mm. um, to attendees mm. or participants. Mm. So, for instance, how to access... Um, small scale loan from your mm. bank, mm. you know, mm. things like that. How to the how to do mm. this, how to do that, how to package your products for the international market, mm. how to. So, apart from the fair and exhibition, you also have the trade clinics uh, which will be happening. In fact, even the CSIR themselves will be having some trade clinics because look, the CSIR as an institution alone can solve about 50% of our consumption problems in Ghana. Mm. I'm telling you. Mm. 
I think for me, mm. the CSR is one of the most underutilized institutions that we have in this country. Mm. Mm. And the painful part is that the services that they provide, we as a country have a habit of always purchasing same services mm. from mm. other countries yeah. at the cost of a dollar. Mm. Mm. This dollar that is killing us today. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. this is the problem. Mm. So this is Ghana is heading towards trying to resolve a dollar problem. Okay. Mm. Okay. No, I think that um, if, from everything that you've said so far, it's probably one of the most innovative um, um, events that we have on the national calendar. Yeah. Um, because, it, of course, the agenda is clear. Uh, what I wanted to find out was, in terms of the 27th, 28th, is it going to be like how many hours in a day? What are we looking at? Uh, okay, 27th is a Saturday, mm. and the 28th, obviously, yeah. a Sunday. So we have the whole day to ourselves. It's normally normally the working um, duration, yeah. so eight nine o'clock up until six p.m. Okay. thereabouts. So that space of time, mm. uh, in between, in between, we'll have the clinics. Okay. You know, so yeah, for two and days. And where is it happening? It's happening at the AMA Forecourt, mm. Accra Metro Metropolitan Assembly. Okay. And while we are there, we'll be also showing bits on TV, on City TV. Okay. Um, so. This is this is mm. how we're going to do it. Wow! Mm. Oh, it sounds fantastic. Of course. I so mean, so you are just um, showcasing your goods or mm. your services at the AMA, mm. and beyond that, you are also on TV. You yeah. know, reaching the whole world. Yeah. And so I think this is a very um, great opportunity. Mm. You know, to tell the world what you do. Mm. So sometimes yeah. if people want, yeah, you want to yeah, say I mean, something. See, yeah, I mean, see, yeah, you may be listening or watching your your company or your services actually not in Accra. You may be watching from Tamale, Takrade, Sunyane, Kumasi, wherever. You are invited to this program mm. because this one event can give you an exponential access to many markets that you never thought about. Mm. So the invitation is thrown across the board. It's not an Accra yeah. thing. It's a Ghana thing. Mm. Yeah. And people in Sekendi, Takrade, people in Cape Coast, people in Achimoda, people in Techima, Bono, Bono region, all these places are invited to mm. be part. Yes, it could be tie and die, but you have a way of packaging your tie and die mm. so that you stand out. Yeah. We encourage that. Yeah. It could be just crafting baskets. How do you do it? Mm. Why are people still importing baskets from China? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, we import baskets from China? Mm. Mm. What, what kind of human yeah. beings are we? At the cost mm. of a dollar. At the cost of yeah. a dollar. Yeah. So I'm just saying that all these things, we need to help push mm. so that it will reduce our dependency yeah. on the dollar. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Right, so um, he number, said it all, yeah. you know, so this is for SMEs, for um, startups, for the big Ghanaian Business, companies. Yeah. So it cuts across mm. wherever you find yourself, you know, there is a spot for you. So no matter how small you think mm. or how big you think. So if you want to come in, you know, and come show, demonstrate to us a, a car that you've built, mm. for instance, there is that space. We have yeah. space for you to bring that likewise if you are coming with a made in ghana pen mm. we also have a space for you yeah. so sometimes uh, what number can we call for okay further so details? we have a phone number um zero two zero five so you can call us zero two zero five nine seven three nine seven three and then we'll take you through the process of how you can be part of this mm. um, event okay I'm looking forward to, you know, during the, the period of the COVID, yeah. there were these uh, ventilator innovations that uh -huh. we, we, we came up with. Yeah. I'm looking forward to see some of these things. You know, we've had robotic competitions where Ghanaians have actually placed their top three you know, and so on. I want, you know, you know I, I'm happy that um, Samens mentioned the yeah. fact that this is not a craft. Yeah program yeah. you know so wherever you are because there are some people in mm. some corners in mm. Ghana mm. who are doing amazing stuff yeah. but they have no idea how mm. to make the world see what see they are doing product, and yeah. so this is a platform mm. that you need to take advantage of wherever you are just call 0205-973-973 and know how you can be part of this now if you miss this opportunity you have yourself to blame you yeah. will have to wait for another 365 days <laughs> this is breakfast daily summons thank you very so much your last one thing yeah. is you see at any time we talk about exhibitions we think about commerce yeah. we think about commerce yeah. uh, you made a point you know um people 
trying to um, manufacture vent ventilators. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we have this innovation thing, yeah. you know. And the whole process of ideation into product mm. product development mm. is only one phase of creating a new product. Yeah. And I think there are several people who find themselves at that point mm. where they have thought through um, um, a product or a service that will solve some problem. Yeah. They probably have gone further to create a prototype, mm. but they are stuck yes, there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, elsewhere, there are funding for such things. That they can use. I am not aware of any such opportunities mm. here, mm. but we will call on all such people to also come showcase. Yeah. For all you know, there's a, a funding available somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I, I saw yesterday, I saw on social media, in fact, I think he was even interviewed by one of the BBC uh, channels. A young boy who has done a wooden uh, motorized bike? Bi bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. A wooden, uh, yeah. GSS wow. guy, yeah. a wooden motorized bicycle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which depends on solar. Mm. Yeah. And he created it himself. Wow. You know, things like that. Yeah. Mm. Why can't we pick people like that, yeah. help them package, improve, mm. and then put them on the market because yeah. it's solving somebody's it's solving problem. problem. Okay. Otherwise, we will forever be buying. Uh, uh, Kam uh, Mama Kambu from yeah. India mm. and China yeah. all the time. Mm. Meanwhile, there's somebody here doing Who's motorized bicycle yeah. that yeah. we are not even paying attention to. Yeah. So this is it. Right, this is so Ghana. this is Ghana on the 27th and 28th of August 2022 at the Accra Metropolitan Assembly for court. Be part of this and tell the world what you are capable of of doing just make sure you call 0205-973-973 and all your questions will be answered thank you very much Samens. you're welcome this thank is breakfast daily we'll be right back <laughs>